genetic informations that are contained within the DNA they are then transferred from one generation to the next generation that that we can discuss uh, under the heading flow of genetic information so information ya instructions ke flow se pehle kya hota hai ke jitna bhi genetic makeup hai cell ka wo divide karta hai and then it is transferred to the next cell or even at higher levels hum ye keh sakte hain ke it is transferred to the next offspring then at the molecular level what happens especially in the biological system or within the cell that this flow of information it is actually within one macromolecule to another macromolecule for example the informations are the codes that contain instructions they are transferred from the dna to dna or from dna to rna and further on from rna to protein in the form of functional uh, product and this concept it is very famous as a student of uh, uh, molecular biology you may be well familiar with this central uh dogma of molecular biology uh, concept that states that how uh, genetic information they flow from one macro molecule to the next macro molecule here the informations they can be transferred from dna to dna by the process of dna replication and then from the dna to rna by the process which is called as transcription and then uh, informations from the rna they can flow back to the dna uh, and this process it is very common in some viruses by the process of reverse transcription and then from rna the informations they are translated into a functional product which is any protein now what happens in eukaryotic cell eukaryotic cell you are familiar that they have well developed you can say that nucleus that contain the dna that is membrane bounded so this is the characteristic feature of eukaryotic cell so here the information or the genetic informations they are transferred from parent cell to the next daughter cell and the similar situation it is in prokaryotic cell like the bacteria so here bacterial cell it can divide its dna and then the dna it is equally segregated into the next daughter cells and during this transfer of dna we can manipulate by inserting our gene of interest by using bacterium as a host organism because this bacterium it is having very short life not life span rather rather a very rapid cell division one cell divide into two within a short span maybe within 20 to 30 minutes if proper nutrients are available so we can produce millions of copies of our gene of interest by using bacterium as a host organism